five invoice errors you can't afford to miss. How to spot errors and dispute billing issues with Chantel Sumas and Brittany Peckham at Balacom Corp. Hello everyone and thanks for joining us today. My name is Chantel Sumas and I'm the marketing director at Balacom. And with me today is my trusty sidekick, Brittany Peckham. She's the campaign strategist here at Balacom. Take it away, Britt. Thank you, Chantel. For those of you who do not know, Valicom is a 100% woman-owned business certified through WBENC. Driven by our six core values, Valicom provides telecom expense management that caters to your unique telecom environment needs. Our 10 professionals will be there for you in every step of the process, and Valicom understands your market and adheres to any compliance needs you may have. We're proud to say our overall average customer satisfaction is ranked at 3.92 out of 4 stars. Woohoo! I could go on and on, but it's time to talk about 5 invoice errors we really can't afford to miss. I'm super excited about this topic. From our experiences from over 28 years of business, we often find that companies need help identifying what these invoice errors even look like, which we don't blame them. These errors are hard to spot. Today, we are not only going to identify invoice errors we can't afford to miss, but also explain best practices for catching these errors in real time. Chantel, I'll let you introduce the first of five. Absolutely. Sometimes it's hard to know what to look for, and you may identify something that looks suspicious. Our first identifiable invoice error is called slamming and cramming. These combine two industry terms that I'm more than happy to explain. Slamming is the illegal practice of switching your telephone provider to another provider without your permission. Cramming is the illegal practice of placing unauthorized, misleading, or deceptive charges on your telephone bill. This is a problem that is not only illegal, but will cost you an unfortunate amount of money. Well, that is an error we hope no one is dealing with today. Another error we've seen is unprocessed disconnections. This is where a line was requested to be disconnected, and for whatever reason on the carrier's side, it just doesn't get done, and the next month, it's found in your invoice. Actually, from our experience, 25% of all requested disconnections go unprocessed the first time. It typically takes several months after the initial request for it to be processed and credited. That is a really common one. Definitely not good. The next invoice error we often see is with contract compliance. This one is when your contract says one thing and your invoice bill is showing otherwise, meaning you aren't being billed according to the terms and conditions of your contract. Telecom managers and IT personnel who are managing these invoices often don't have the contract on hand, which leads to these errors being missed. These invoice errors are so frustrating. Okay, I'll take error number four, taxes and tariffs. One thing to check for is that your tax exemptions are being applied correctly. Also, do you know if you're paying tax rates? Are you paying what your contract states? It's easy to overlook this. For example, we realized over $3,100 in recurring savings a month off sales taxes and federal excess taxes for one of our healthcare clients. After discussion with AT&T, this client was also refunded $113,000 in taxes. This case is noteworthy because it was hard earned. Getting corporations from government agencies and asking vendors to issue large refunds, then file amended tax sales tax returns themselves is difficult. Okay, that brings us to one, two, three, four, yup, five. Chantel, you've got this. All right, you bet. Multiplicity is our last one. What is this, you ask? Well, occasionally one telephone line will appear on two separate invoices from the same carrier. This is a big problem. In the case that there are line items billing more than once, they'll be disconnected. Having a team to handle that recovery is vital. Thank you, Chantel. That brings us through our top five errors you cannot avoid. Deep breaths, guys. We're about to walk through the best ways to find and manage these errors. We need to catch these errors before you're losing unnecessary amounts of money. We're going to give you the inside scoop on our methodologies. We do advise that you consult a temp provider to gain a deep dive of your telecom environment to make sound decisions on tackling these errors, but we'll break down what we do for our clients in preventing these errors from eating up unnecessary dollars, and hopefully it will spark some ideas. First, 
Our team performs a full contract compliance check to confirm that everything is being billed correctly. Then, going forward, every time a new contract is signed, we confirm that the items included are being invoiced correctly. After that, we will perform a telecom audit for our clients. Is there one standard audit or are there different types? Oh, we have many types of audits to choose from. A few include a historical audit, which is when we look back at past invoices for errors. Then we have a contingency one-time audit. That's another one. It's a short-term project for an outsourced telecom expert. They'll look into the current environment and make recommendations for lines to be disconnected and credits to be requested. Also, we have an ongoing audit, which is one we actually suggest most often. This is one we recommend so often to our clients because it keeps an eye on your telecom spend. The ongoing monitoring of your environment allows us to spot issues quickly and before they spin out of control or become too expensive. So, we've got some options here. What kind of savings has our past clients seen from participating in audits? Good question, Britt. One of our healthcare clients who has a continuous wireline and wireless audit performed has realized a six-year savings of over $684,000. With over 6,800 staff members, seven hospitals, and numerous clinics and related services, it was getting a bit difficult to manage their telecom environment. Another client of ours in consumer food had an audit performed and we found almost $10,000 in overcharges. Rates were corrected and this client received a credit memo for the overage. The high variance discovered by Valacom staff saves them over $119,000 annually. Wowza, that's a whole lot of savings. Okay, next I want to explain to our audience the importance of keeping a close eye on inventory. This is a place we definitely see some discrepancies. Inventory is the backbone of our TEM software Clearview. It reviews our invoices, your invoices, contracts, and if necessary, by doing a physical inventory. An accurate inventory allows for complete transparency in the environment. Oh, good one. This last one I want to mention is the value of outsourcing MACD. When companies do this, they take on an external team that can handle all of the moves, ads, changes, and disconnections for your telecom environment. When this is done, you can have peace of mind knowing that new lines have been added at the correct billing rates and that lines you requested to be disconnected have actually been disconnected. That's great. Well, I think we've thrown enough at them for one afternoon. What do you think, Chantel? Until next time. Until next time. For more information, visit www.valicomcorp.com. And if you'd like to request a risk-free cost savings analysis, email info at valicomcorp.com.